Mark and Sarah had always been fascinated by the paranormal. So when they heard about an abandoned house that was rumored to be haunted, they couldn't resist the opportunity to explore it. The house was located in the middle of the woods, and it had been abandoned for years. As soon as Mark and Sarah entered the house, they could feel a sense of unease. The air was thick with a sense of malevolence, and they could hear strange noises coming from the depths of the house. Despite their fear, Mark and Sarah decided to press on with their investigation. They made their way through the house, taking pictures and recording audio. But as they entered the basement, they were confronted by a ghostly figure. The ghost was the former owner of the house, a man named James. James had been a cruel and selfish man in life, and he had made a pact with the devil to gain wealth and power. But his greed had led him to a tragic end, and he had died in a fire that had consumed the house. James's spirit was still trapped in the house, and he had been waiting for someone to enter the house so that he could take them to hell with him. He revealed to Mark and Sarah that they had stumbled into a portal to the underworld and that he intended to take them with him. Mark and Sarah were horrified and tried to run, but the ghost was too powerful. He dragged them down into the portal and into the depths of hell. They were confronted with a world of darkness and torment, and they could see the souls of the damned all around them. Mark and Sarah were trapped in hell, at the mercy of James's wrath. They were subjected to unspeakable horrors, and their bodies and souls were consumed by the fire of the underworld. Years passed, and their families never knew what happened to them. They had disappeared without a trace, and their fate remained a mystery. But in the depths of hell, Mark and Sarah were still trapped, forever at the mercy of James's ghost, and the devil himself. Mark and Sarah were lost in the darkness of hell, and they had no idea how to escape. They tried to find a way out, but the portal that had brought them there was closed, and they were trapped with no way out. They were confronted by demons and monsters, and they were subjected to unspeakable torments. The heat of the fires was unbearable, and the screams of the damned echoed in their ears. They were consumed by fear and despair, and they knew that they would never escape. But just as they were about to give up hope, they heard a voice calling out to them. It was the voice of an angel, a being of light and goodness, who had come to save them from the darkness. The angel told them that they had been chosen to fight against the evil of the ghost and the devil. It revealed that they had been given a powerful weapon, a sword of light that could banish the darkness and free them from their prison. Mark and Sarah were hesitant at first, but they knew that they had to try. They took the sword and began to fight their way through the hordes of demons. They battled against the ghost and the devil, and they could feel their power growing with each step. Finally, they reached the portal that had brought them to hell. They used the sword to banish the ghost and the devil, and they opened the portal, allowing them to escape back to the world of the living. Mark and Sarah emerged from the house, and they were greeted by the bright light of day. They were shaken and scarred by their experience, but they were alive. They knew that they would never forget the horrors of hell, but they were grateful for the chance to escape. They returned home, and they tried to put the past behind them. But the memories of the ghost and the devil haunted them, and they knew that they would never be the same. They decided to keep the Sword of Light with them, as a reminder of their journey, and a warning of what could happen to those who dare to enter the haunted house. Years passed, and the house was left abandoned, and the legend of the haunted house became a cautionary tale for people to stay away from it, but Mark and Sarah knew that the ghost and the devil were still out there, waiting for their next victims, and they were ready to fight them again if they had to. If you like this video, please give it a like and share. Subscribe the channel for more amazing stories.